talked about it a few times on the show. I mean, back to school, the stressors are really starting to show. And I know in my house, one of the stressors, lunch. Mm -hmm. How to pack it. How do you make sure it's something that our children will eat yet be nutritious? Well, we decided to call in one of our friends who's a registered dietitian to get her take today. Amanda's with us. Amanda, please help. How are you first and foremost? <laughs> I'm doing really well, thank you. I'm very happy to be here. Mornings can be super stressful, especially if you're getting into a new back to school routine, but they don't need to be. So I'm gonna give a few quick tips on how we can build some delicious, convenient, and also nutritious balanced lunch boxes that are made almost entirely with items you can find in your pantry. I love this. Where do we begin, Amanda? Where Please do we begin. <laughs> so first of all, we don't wanna make, we don't want to be confusing convenient for unhealthy. Right? I think a lot of shelf-stable foods can get a bad reputation. It's not necessarily the case. We want to make sure also that we're taking a look at those nutrition facts labels. That's where you can really start to figure out if you're making a choice that is going to be a more nutritious one for your child. So there's a lot on there on the nutrition label. I would recommend if you're just going to take a peek at a, a few things, take a look at the sodium line and also the added sugar line and strive to keep them below 10% of the daily value. You know what, that is an attainable and great tip because I don't know what to look at when it comes to things. And I do tend to just look, you know, for easy. So I'm curious, and I think you've already touched on it. You are a mom and also a registered dietitian. Can we get a glimpse into some of the ideas and some of the things that you pack for your kids? Of course, step into my kitchen, step into my morning. Although fun fact, I like to make these the night before. It saves me so much time when I'm screaming, put your shoes on for the 10th time. So, uh, so here, this is one example. I really just strive for balance. It's all about incorporating different food groups, different tastes and textures, making sure that you're finding things your kid is actually gonna eat because isn't that really what we all want? Uh, so here in this example, I use some low sodium turkey jerky and whole grain crackers. They pair really nicely together. Plus some savory pea snacks. They're super crispy and crunchy and then a yogurt pouch. So this is Horizon Organic Growing Years. I love it. It is packed with nutrition, and I always really do strive to put some dairy in my daughter's lunches. Another option, if you're not into the yogurt pouch, we can throw in some string cheeses. Here I have guacamole. They come in these little individual cups that can actually last quite a long time in your fridge. So again, saving you a trip to the store. Uh, some whole grain pita chips and some fruit. I use pineapple here. It's really about doing what works for you. One kid may love pineapple, it's you know not your thing for another child so using some dried fruit using applesauce uh, swapping in things you know that maybe will meet your your kids preferences also i love including these aseptic which means they're shelf stable milk boxes horizon organic makes them they're super convenient they're so easy and you don't need to worry about how long they're going to last in your refrigerator you know, Amanda, I love that we didn't see like the regular, you know, sandwich and like side, which is kind of like, you know, the monotony that I feel like I get into a little bit. And I also noticed a theme with dairy. And since I've got you here, how important is dairy incorporating it into our kids' lunches? It is super important. As I mentioned, I always try to incorporate a dairy option into my daughter's lunch. There are a lot of nutrients that kids really need, but actually across the board don't get enough of. And the two that really can rise to the top, calcium and vitamin D. Now dairy is a great source of both of these nutrients. They're super important for helping to build strong bones as our kids are growing, which is why I love to include a yogurt or a string cheese. I had mentioned the milk. This is another choice I love. If dairy is not your thing, Silk has these incredible almond milk pack pouches, uh, boxes. They are also shelf stable. So you don't need to worry about the expiration date. You can grab it off the shelf and go. And they also have calcium and vitamin D. So you know you're still taking care of their little growing bones. I love this. Hey, before we also let you go, I want to stay in touch with you because, again, you've given such attainable tips and just so we can continue to learn and maybe ease some of those morning routines. And like you said, so you're not just yelling, you know, get your shoes on all the time, you know, that you're setting them off with a good lunch. <laughs> I would love that too. Yeah, it is my passion to share all of my creative ideas with everyone. So you can find me on Instagram at Amanda Blackman. And if you want to learn more about the products, you can visit DenoneNorthAmerica.com and dig in a little bit deeper. Oh, thank, thank you again. Yeah, thank That's you for having here. me. Okay. I know that this is going to completely change your morning. It's going to change your whole routine, change your life, and your kids are going to love them. I hope. I need the help. <laughs> Fingers crossed. <laughs>